an introduction to number bases. Now, I've got here a bunch of apples, and I reckon I've got 13, but they're difficult to count because of the way they're arranged. So I'm going to arrange them in groups of 10. And what I'll find is I've got one group of 10 with 3 left over. So I'm going to write that down as 1, 3, or 13. And I've got to write a little 10 after that to show that it's in what we call base 10. If I group them in groups of 5, I'll finish up with 2 groups of 5 and 3 left over. So I'll write that as 23 with a little 5 afterwards to show that's base 5. So we now know that 13 in base 10 is 23 base 5 and it's also 16 in base 7 because there'll be one group of 7 with 6 left over. In base 8 it'll be 15 that's one group of 8 and 5 left over. In base 4 it'll be 31 because there'll be 3 groups of 4 and 1 left over and another example base 6 it'll be 21 that's 2 groups of 6 and one left over. A quick summary so far then. 13 base 10 is one group of 10 and three left over. 23 base 5 is two groups of 5 and three left over. One more example. 31 base 4 is three groups of 4 and one left over. Let's move on. 57 in base 10. We know this is 50 plus 7, or 5 lots of 10 plus 7. What about a bigger number? 157 in base 10. We know that that's 100 plus 50 plus 7. That's 1 lot of 100, 5 lots of 10, and a 7. An even bigger number, 3,486 in base 10. That's 3 lots of 1,000, 4 lots of 100, 8 lots of 10, and 6 left over. And we're all pretty familiar with this, writing numbers in base 10, or in our decimal system. So, every time we fill a group, we need a new group. And because it's in base 10, the new group is 10 times as big as the previous group. And I'm pretty sure we all understand that. I've written a heading for my groups. From the right we've got 1s, then groups of 10, groups of 100, groups of 1,000, groups of 10,000. The first number I've got to write down is 8. Well, we don't need any big groups for this, it's just 8 on its own. 29 is 2 groups of 10, plus 9. The next number, 476. Well, that's 4 lots of 100, 7 lots of 10, plus 6. 6,594. That's 6 lots of 1,000. 5 lots of 100, 9 lots of 10, and 4. And finally, 32,185. That's 3 lots of 10,000, i.e. 30,000. 2 lots of 1,000, 1 lot of 100, 8 lots of 10, and 5. So, in our base 10 system, these are our groups. On the far right, we just have singles, and then groups of 10, and groups of 100. And 100 is, of course, 10 times 10. Then we have groups of 1,000, 10 times 10 times 10. Then 10,000 is groups of 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And we could carry on to the left. Every time we need a bigger group, we just multiply by 10. So how would this work in another number base then? Let's take base 5. The smallest units are 1s, then 5s, then 25s, because 25 is 5 times 5, 
then 125, which is 5 times 5 times 5, and 625, which is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Of course, we could extend that. Here's an example then, 321 in base 5. 3 times 5 times 5, plus 2 times 5, plus 1. That's the same as 86 in base 10. Other number bases will be grouped like this. There's base 3, base 7, next one, base 8, also known as octal, will look like this, and base 2, known as binary, will look like this. And these last two number bases, octal and binary, we'll look at in a lot more detail because they're quite important in a future lesson. Let's convert from one number base to another. We'll start with converting from other number bases to base 10. And we've probably got the hang of this by now, but let's have a look. 1, 2, 4, base 5. Well, the 4 is easy enough. The 2 means 2 lots of 5. And the 1 means 1 lot of 5 times 5, or 1 lot of 25. And if we add those together, we will get 39 base 10. 2, 1, 1, base 3. Well, that's got to be a single 1, and then 1 lot of 3, then 2 lots of 3 times 3, or 2 lots of 9. So let's add those together and see what we get. We've got to get 22 in base 10. And finally, 3, 0, 7, base 8. Well, that's 7 plus 0 times 8 plus 3 times 8 times 8, or 3 times 64. Add those together and we will get, that's right, 199 base 10, 199. Let's look at converting from base 10 to another base. Here's an example, 49 base 10 to base 3. We'll, we'll take 49 and divide by 3. We get 16, remainder 1. Take the 16, divide that by 3. We'll get 5, remainder 1. Now we'll take the 5, divide that by 3. And we'll get 1, remainder 2. And we'll take the 1, divide that by 3. And we'll get 0, remainder 1. And that's what we do. We keep on going until we find a 0. So, in base 3, this will be 1, 2, 1, 1. Let's just check that, shall we? That will be... From the right hand side, 1 plus 1 lot of 3, 2 lots of 3 times 3, and 1 lot of 3 times 3 times 3. Hey presto, that is 49. Let's have another example. This time we've got to convert 236 in base 10 to base 8. So we've got to repeatedly divide by 8 because we're looking at base 8. Don't forget this time. And we've got to keep dividing until we get a 0 with a remainder. So, 236 divided by 8 is 29 remainder 4. Take the 29, divide that by 8, we'll get 3 remainder 5. Take the 3, divide that by 8, there's our 0 remainder 3. So, in base 8, this is, what do you think? Yep, it's got to be 3, 5, 4. And let's check this. That will be 4, plus 5 lots of 8, and then 3 lots of 8 times 8, or 3 lots of 64. And that indeed comes to 236. I'm sure you're getting the hang of this by now. This lesson also appears on screencast.com and the version on screencast has a short quiz at the end just to check understanding. 
Unfortunately, quizzes can't be published to YouTube, so if you want to check out the version with the quiz, here is the link.